Hey guys, this is Shukesh Bunik from Gadgets Portal and today I have the all new Samsung Galaxy S2 S2 S7582 and I gonna give you a quick walkthrough of this entry level phone from Samsung. The price of this phone in the Indian market is around 10,500 rupees and for the specifications of this phone, I will say this is a quite reasonable pricing. The first generation of s -Dos was highly successful in the market and this s 2 is a worthy successor of the s 1. Though the exterior design especially the 4 inches display remain almost the same, the CPU, GPU, RAM everything has got great improvements. The main reason behind the success of Galaxy s Duos was this very colorful 4 inches display and this time also we are very pleased with the color reproduction and the crispness of the pixels. The resolution is 480 by 800 with 233 ppi which is quite good for a 10,000 rupees phone. Just like s Duos, s Duos 2 does not have any ambient light sensor. There is a Duos logo which means this phone is capable of smart dual SIM functionality of Samsung that is you can get calls from the SIM 2 even when you are on a call on the SIM 1. The front facing camera has got VJ resolution and the rear camera has got 5 megapixels resolution and the video capability is 720p this time which is a great improvement from the previous S Duos. At the top you are getting the typical headphone port and at the bottom there is a micro USB port for charging and data syncing. This is the microphone hole. The volume rocker is on the right of the phone and this is the power key. The SD card slot is hot swappable and expandable up to 64 gigs. Overall this is a complete phone with all the basic features and the 3G speed has been increased to 21 Mbps which is also a great improvement. Now this phone is running on Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. So you are getting this multiple widgets on your lock screen and you can also customize this. You can get direct camera from here. The Samsung TouchWiz user interface is the simplest interface you can find on any smartphone. It is very user friendly and I'll not say very fast but very feature rich and a lot of features are borrowed from Galaxy S4 and Note 3. There is no fancy look or animation in the interface like Sony Xperia devices but the interface looks very premium and also very formal. The interface is overall very smooth but you may experience some occasional hiccups. These are the preloaded applications and unlike Galaxy S Duos, there is no important or noticeable new application on this Duos 2. This is the official website of Gadgets Portal and you can find a full written review here. The pinch to zoom and the double tap to zoom are working nice. There is basically no lag and the display resolution seems fair for reading small text. The camera quality of this phone is again quite impressive, especially in good lighting condition and the touch to focus and the autofocus seems very fast. There are a lot of shooting modes borrowed from Galaxy S4 and Galaxy Note 3 which you will find quite fascinating. Samsung tried their best to make this phone as feature rich as possible keeping the specifications in mind and what we have got a complete package with all the basic and some premium cool options. The best feature this is just to got from its big brothers is the adapt sound feature Different people have different hearing capabilities and different headsets are also different in qualities but with this adapt sound you can calibrate your hearing capability with some simple steps and you have to use your earphone for that. I will show you the steps in the in-depth review so make sure you subscribe and keep in touch. This is such an innovative and exclusive Samsung feature. I am very happy Samsung included this feature on an entry level phone like the Samsung Galaxy S2 S2. This hands free mode is another very handy feature and SIM card manager will enable you to turn on the smart dual SIM function I have discussed before. Galaxy S2 S2 supports smart alert that is if you have got any notification and the phone is at rest as soon as you pick up the phone the phone will vibrate. With the second option here you can mute any song or pause a video just by flipping the phone. 
the video handling capability of this smartphone is up to 720p which is also not bad the android version is 4.2.2 jelly bean which is also almost latest and i don't complain about that the only complaint i have on this phone is the low memory the internal storage is only around 2 gb for the user that is really very low but fortunately you can move your installed applications data to your external sd card though you cannot move system applications and only a very small portion of the applications can be moved to the external sd card so this is a really bad thinking by samsung another bottleneck for the smartphone is the low ram i know this phone has got 768 mb of ram but the user accessible ram is always below 250 mb samsung should have included 1 gb of ram just like galaxy core after few months of uses you may face some lag on this smartphone but i think for only 10500 rupees you cannot expect anything more than this Overall this phone is not bad for everyday normal users and you can play a lot of games on this smartphone I will upload a gaming review also so keep in touch now let's quickly check the CPU and the GPU the processor is a 1.2 GHz dual core ARM Cortex A9 and this is much better than Cortex A5 you got on the S2 OS the GPU is Broadcom Video Core 4 HW which is also better than Adreno 200 The battery on this phone is of 1500 mAh and here are the sensors. So this Samsung Galaxy S2 Plus 2 is a nice compact all-in-one smartphone from Samsung and if you are looking for a budget-friendly phone with good 4 inches display, dual SIM support and good multimedia that is music, camera, video and browsing experience then you can get this Galaxy S2 Plus 2. The full in-depth review is coming soon so make sure you subscribe and keep in touch. You can visit gadgetsportal.in for a written review and facebook.com/gadgetsportal for more info and updates. That's all for now. This is Shukesh Bonik and thanks for watching.